What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at one of the dominant edge rushers in the 2022 NFL draft class, and it's going to be Penn State Arnold Ebicady. Let's get that name right. Arnold Ebicady. 6'3", 250, nine and a half sacks last season. The dude can get after the quarterback. Let's look at his measurables again. 6'2", exactly 250. Look at the hand size, 10 4 eighths, 34-inch arms. This guy's got everything you want. Measurable wise, but does he perform on the field? You saw the numbers. Let's see it come to fruition right here. This dude's number 17. Talk about speed on the outside and getting to the quarterback. Plus, what do you like about this guy? Right. Yeah. Definitely gets after the quarterback, as you see there. He's got, you know, the length and the and the speed, all the tools you want from a, a pass rusher. And and pass rush in this league is so important. So he's going to be valued pretty highly. Uh, but yeah, right there, it's just nice, just good hand usage, knowing how to get off his, his guy and then finishing with the, you know, just continuation movement. And he drives to the quarterback, which is really nice to see. And it's so effortless. I mean, the guy had barely any, the tackle had no chance. He tried to reach for him, slipped right underneath and it's done and over with this one. I really like because the tackle on the outside, let's rewind it here. Here's Eva Katie. I mean, look at initially, the, the tackle kind of wins here. He kind of shoves him off his spot here, extends his arms. No, he doesn't fall back, doesn't lose his balance, keeps going through with the, the motions, and that leg drive and just motor just keeps going forward, ends up where? In the backfield, getting another sack. Break down this one for me. It's really impressive because, like you said, he, he doesn't really have the win here. The offensive lineman's doing a good job of holding his ground, but Evan Katie just continues to fight with his motor, like you said, and then finishes the play. So it's just that uh, continued use of hand battling and, and not giving up, plus with the leg drive continuing to move forward, finds a way to get the quarterback. And, and that's what you need at the next level uh, because you're not always going to be able to win with uh, you know your pure speed off the edge. And the length, the, the leg drive, it all is being shown on display here. I mean, check this one out. Look how low he gets through here. Look at the ankle flexion here. I mean, that, that is insane. And getting underneath, getting dipping, ripping, getting through, finishing the move, and near sack here. I don't know how the hell this guy stayed up. But just the ability for this guy to bend, to keep moving forward, not getting knocked off balance, it's actually a really good gift. And I'm surprised this guy isn't getting named a lot higher than where he is right now. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, he's definitely, I think, on the rise, uh, already having a great week at, at Senior Bowl. Uh, practice. Uh, but yeah, Ebby Katie, I mean, he's got all the tools you look for um, in a pass rusher. So, I mean, he he's what you want. Um, again, he's not, you know, that 6'5 guy, but he's got everything you need. You know, the arm length, I think is perfect. And then his ability with the foot speed uh, to put that on display. I mean, right there, he beats the tackle in less than a second. He's already back to the quarterback it's it's just so natural to him and it looks really it looks really good on tape it's funny though you're gonna see him he attacks the outside arm like almost every damn time why because he's a speed edge rusher that's where he's gonna be winning his bread and butter off of but you like a little bit of his hesitation i'm gonna go fake it inside then bounce around i mean everyone knows what he's gonna go after but the thing is once you get to the nfl you get to master the craft and start adding inside spin inside moves like just getting creative with what you can do and set guys up. This is just literally using a speed. Oh yeah. I'm just going to run right through you. And now I'm going to bull rush through you. Not just go around you, but I'm going through and the stuff that he can kind of bring as he develops his skills. I think it's going to be just nasty again, more outside moves attacking the outside arm. What do you see? Yeah. Like you said, I mean, definitely the inside counter moves are something that's going to come along, but here, I mean, just, Winning to the outside, that's what he's good at. He knows he can do that with his athleticism. And it kind of reminds you of a, a Shaq Barrett. I mean, this is a Bucks channel, and we see a lot of Shaq Barrett. And, you know, he's got that similar size to Shaq, and he can do a lot of things that, you know, Shaq Barrett shows on tape. And I see him rushing from the opposite side. So this is something I kind of notice With these, he still does the hand moves, the same, same exact attacking the outside arm. It's just... Not as powerful, I guess. It's still fluid. I mean, look how quickly he jabs and then gets up underneath. It's just not as powerful of, of a move when he does it from this side. But still, like, you can still see the leg drive, the bend, the dip. I mean, he still has all the same things he does on the other side. It's just not as aggressive, I would say. But either way, this guy's getting pressure every damn time. What do you think? 
Yeah, definitely getting pressure. I, I would agree he's just not as natural, you know, rushing from the left side as he is on the right side. Um, but that can come with time. Again, it's continued development. You know, it's just a different way of rushing the passer when you're on that side. So he's just got to get more comfortable. But like you said, he continues to win. I think that's the biggest thing. He's winning these battles uh, consistently, and he's he's creating pressure here. He's forcing the quarterback to move to a spot that he doesn't want to. So that's a uh, that's a good sign of a pass rusher. Yeah, the the balance is insane too. I mean, yeah, it's it actually is to his credit that he's only six two, not six three. Because look at this, he gets low underneath, still driving. It's insane how he can get back there and not get pushed off his spot as he's still driving through guys. Like here, I mean, this is tackle wins again. He kind of stones him here. He st- locks him up. This is okay. That's over. No, he's his motor keeps going. Look where he's at. He's in the backfield already. Tackle thought he won, and nope, throw the ball away. What do you like with this one? Right, it's just you know a continuation of that that drive that we were talking about the motor, uh, just the the relentlessness pursuit. I think just adds to his game because he's already very technical with his pass rush. Again, there's still some things he can work on, but I mean a lot of this is just just really good raw talent. I mean, right there, that's good strength up the gut, just pushing his guy over. Uh, and it just shows his legs are never stopping. I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah, you usually hear that with a running back. Hey, doesn't, doesn't matter. I mean, if you just use your leg drive, use your strongest muscles, which are in your legs, keep pushing through, and let's see what happens. And now in the running game, quick, quicker than than big, I guess you'll say, because if you do mano a mano with him, with a 300-pound man, he's not going to really stand up. But he's winning to spots, and that's what he needs to use to his advantage. That quickness, look at that. Look at that off the snap. And then the tackle sitting there looking, what the hell just happened? Like, watch this. Boom. Done. Oh, well, I'll just get number 12 because there's not a chance in hell I'm getting 17. What do you like with that one? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's an uh, anticipation. So he, he's got to win, you know, off the snap, and obviously he can do that very well. You know, jumping the snap and, and showing that, you know, first step quickness that's where he's going to be very successful, especially in the run game, Uh, going east to west, you know, finding ways to penetrate and being that, uh, you know, up the field disruptor. I think that's where he definitely shows his uh, ability in the run game. And and obviously it goes, you know, with his pass rush game as well. It fits very nicely. And just using the tools that you have. I mean, motor, you've seen it countless times. Length, you're seeing it extending his arms, making sure he's getting in the backfield. Even even in these situations, getting others off of him, getting the tackle's arms off of him, and then making plays. Getting skinny here, too. This guy, the fullback's trying to come in here for a block, gets skinny and gets around it. Like, there's little traits in here you don't see in the grand scheme of things, but this is nice. I mean, all around kind of nice. Go ahead. Yeah, very nice. Uh, you know, overall, he just shows a very solid foundation to build off, and obviously the potential – is off the charts. So he's got what you want, you know, from an edge standpoint, defensive end, and he could probably play, you know, multiple positions along the front. Um, now we're going to see him drop back and he can just, he shows that he can be that four, three or three, four, you know, fit, you know, style of scheme. So he's got a lot of versatility to his game. And again, obviously his bread and butter is going to be getting after the quarterback. And that's what most teams are going to look for when it comes to uh, this NFL draft. Uh, but with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, Arnold Ebekedi is a guy that, I mean, just outstanding um, so far. I really like him. I think he's going to be um, a name that we hear called earlier than expected. Uh, and with that said, until the next one.